Welcome to Astronauts.com. Today I'm going to show you how to cable for back. Cable stitches are usually worked every several rows in a pattern over a few stitches. You don't want to cable every row because the twists would become too tight and wouldn't look as nice. Today I'm going to show you the basic cable for back. To cable for back, slip two stitches to your cable needle, usually the short end if your cable needle is a hook like mine. Hold this to the back of the work. Be sure to move the working yarn in front of the cable needle while holding the cable needle to back. Now knit the next two stitches on your left hand needle as usual. Depending on the number in your cable instruction, you will usually slip half that number of stitches to your cable needle. The number represents the total number of stitches involved in the cable. Finally, knit the two stitches from the other end of your cable needle. The cable won't show up right away. You'll need to work a couple more regular rows before you'll see the twist. Cabling is produced when you exchange the place of stitches by holding some stitches out of the way while you work a few stitches ahead and then work the held stitches. Cable stitches can be worked over a background of stockinette stitch or reverse stockinette stitch to make them stand out even more. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to visit astronauts.com for more knitting videos and great knitting info.